very much, uh, Mr. Uh, Pouliquin. So I understood that Bing will give me the answers before I realize that I have the question. Excellent. I didn't know my wife was this modern. Yes. You know the situation. Why am I cleaning a clean room, darling? I'm giving you an answer for a problem that will occur in the future. Yes. And I'm, I'm quite modern and I'm all pro the equal, well, the equal division of, of the household work for the men and, and, and the women. I think that's a normal thing to do. There's one thing that annoys me in this story and that is all the generations before me, the men didn't have to do anything. The women did it all. And all the generations after me, we will have robots doing everything. So in this 500,000 years of humanity, there was one generation of men that had to work at home, and it was me. <laughs> yes, yes. And something else, had these women left us alone a bit longer, these robots would have been finished by now. So, yes, good, yeah, there. Small anti-women joke. I'm, I'm to apologize. I'm making enemies very fast here. What did I have? The, the French, the British, Americans, women? Yes. By the end, only blonde, blue-eyed, male Flemish people will like me. But we will solve that problem when it occurs. Good. Uh, the next speaker is uh, Thomas Joos, uh, whom, I, uh, whom I've uh, met before. He's, he's a young creative from Ghent, so we have our own dungeons where we go be young and creative. We've met, uh, we've met there before. And um, he works for the creative studio Little Miss Robot. It's a creative studio on innovative product design. Mr. Thomas Joos.